Hmm. Seems to be charging uh, 3S packs as well. How about that? Maybe version 3, huh, Josh? <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to my channel. So today's review is the Parallel Charging Board by Strix. And this is the Joshua Bardwell line. Um, Josh had a lot to do with the design of the board and the improvements on this board. Um, this is strictly a 4S um, parallel charging board. However, with a simple modification by the manufacturer, they can also make this for 3S. So you'd have 3S and 4S. I know Josh doesn't really fly the smaller quads. He likes 5-inch quads um, and 4S packs. But a, a big majority that is starting to develop in the hobby is smaller 3-inch um, copters, 2-inch copters, and they use 3S packs. So I think that if they do the simple modification that I'm about to mention and, and show how easy it is for the manufacturer to do that modification, they can grab a, a much larger share of the market um, by making this for both 3S and 4S. So let me just get started with the product first. Um, I normally never charge my larger batteries using a parallel charger, charging board because of safety. I, I, you know, I like my house. I love the wife. I love the dogs. I don't want to see them on fire. And when it comes to parallel charging, you have to, you, you can't just be reckless and, you know, you, you can't have any ass hattery when it comes to parallel charging. You've got to pay attention to what you're doing. Um, it's very, very easy to plug in a fully charged pack, not knowing, you know, you come, you, you go out there, you fly all day. You thought you used all your packs up, but you didn't. You had one in your, in your, in your bags that was fully charged. You come home, you start plugging in your batteries and to do a parallel charge and you plug in your full one. And next thing you know, you have a problem on your hands. And what the problem is, is that when you have a fully charged pack, and you plug it into a parallel charging board with other packs that are not fully charged, it will drain your battery that's charged very, very quickly past the C rating. And so you can damage the cells, you can damage the pack, you could cause a, other, a lot of other issues. Um, that's the kind of the nice thing about having the fuse and also having the poly fuses here. Um, it helps protect that, but it can still happen. And so that's what I like about this feature here. Um, what this feature does is when you come home to do your charging or just, you know, you want to discharge, but let's say you want the next day you want to go back out and you do your charging, plug your batteries in and you can see right here, it gives you the full pack voltage. Okay. Of 14, seven on this one and the individual cell voltage as well. I like that. And the reason I like that is because as we know, when batteries get older, um, individual cells start to break down. So, and that's that's the reason we we always try to balance charge our batteries um, as opposed to just straight charging because you don't know if there's a weak cell inside your pack. And if you do have a weakened cell, um, when you charge your pack up to full voltage, you could be overcharging the other three cells, while the four cell is still uh, very low on voltage and then when you fly of course that lower cell is going to go much much lower than it's supposed to and then then you damage the pack it could start puffing it could start a fire that's usually what happens um, the time to be careful with lipos is when they're fully charged and also uh, during charging you always want to keep an eye on your on your charge on your packs so that is what's nice about this feature is it not only tells you the pack voltage, it tells you the individual cell voltages as well. So I know that this is a 14.7. Um, this one here, I think I only flew this for a little while and I wrecked and I came back. Yeah, I did. Okay. And I, what happened is I, I wrecked, I came back. I, you know, I checked out the quad and I just threw another battery into it, a fresh battery. And threw this one in the bag. So this one's 15.4 here. So that's 14.7 uh, on one, 15.4. It's kind of within range, I suppose. Um, you want to keep it within a half a volt or um, one volt. This one here is 15.8. Okay, so 
this one here and this other one I'd probably charge to get or I'd probably discharge these down to 14.7 for storage um, what's this one here and this one here is 15.7 so there's three of them I would probably like I said uh, either charge or discharge to uh, a resting voltage of 4.8 a cell this one's 14.7 so so there you go it, this way you know when you're looking at your batteries before you do your parallel charging what you have in the batteries and just for the sake of safety um, for those of you who have never parallel charged before um, what you want to do first of all is plug in the main okay your main battery leads and the reason why is once again just for safety just in case you you do end up with a fuller pack you know this is going to take the brunt here these leads here as opposed to these small wires and then you charge in your uh, your plug in your your balance leads okay so we're going to charge it we're going to plug in the main and then the balance leads okay so when you're parallel charging for those that don't know is what you do is you take your pack so I have three here these are 1800 a piece okay so I have 1800 3600 and 5400 and how that works is let's say I wanted to charge at 1c so 5400 that's 5.4 amps so I'm going to set my charger to 5.4 amps to charge this at 1c now this board will handle up to 70c so I could charge these at a much higher rate um, if I wanted to go with 2C, I would charge. I would set my charger to 10.8. Um, so 10, 10 amps, 10.8 amps. Okay, so that's that's how it works. They're all going to stay 4C. So it's not 4C, 8C, and 12C. That's not how parallel charging works. Okay, so that is very very nice. Um, you're able to charge 10 packs at one time. Like I said, the board will go up to 70 amps which is a lot so you're still able to quickly charge your batteries however pay attention to pay attention to the manufacturer of the battery because they know how these are formulated they're, they're the ones who did it and they'll tell you you know either charge never go past a 3c rating on your charging or or 5c um, I think these ones here are just 1c if I remember correctly no it says do not exceed 6c charge rate okay it says right on the pack so you want to pay attention each battery is a lot you know it, each battery is formulated differently so and these are high volt cells okay so to get back to the, the 3s portion of this um, it is possible to to use 3s batteries on this and I know that because I just got done charging a few on here so what I did is I made up a few of these little leads here because I run XT 30s on my smaller 3s packs and so I made up these here you can buy these already complete um, from Banggood they're like 11 bucks for 10 of them um, and what you'll be ordering let me explain that too what you'll be ordering is this here is an XT60 female I know you would think it would be a male because it plugs into something but how they how they how they come up with this is the center pins these are male center pins the sticking out and this is a female recept receptor so yeah there you go so you'll have this will be a an XT60 female and an XT30 male connector so that's the that's the adapter you want to get you want to get XT30 male to XT60 female okay and so let me show you how this works so on the 3S batteries on your on your balance leads all you have to do is there's a couple of little nubs here as you know on your balance leads you just shave one off you shave the one off that's closest that's on the red okay and you can just use a regular knife with that and just just you know take your knife and shave them off okay don't shave off this one um, and the reason why is because that way you don't you can't accidentally plug this in backwards even though the poly fuses will uh, help protect that uh, from doing that but still this way you just plug it in 
The red lead goes closest to the fuses or the connectors here on this side. Okay. And once again, what this will do is it will read it out. So this pack is fully charged because I just charged it on this board here along with another pack. So this one here is fully charged. Um, let's see what this other pack is here. I think this one's fully charged as well. So if the manufacturer wanted to market this for 3S and 4S, which I would advise them doing. Yeah, so this is a 12th. Okay, so I just charged these two um, using this board, so I know it works. So if the manufacturer would just simply take the, you can see it's got a notch here, and it's got a notch here for the 4S balance lead, okay? All they would have to do is make this space on this notch wider or put another notch here for a 3S pack. They can also do it for a 2S pack as well. Um, and then that way they can mark it as a 2S, 3S, and a 4S charging parallel charging board. That's something I would highly recommend in version 3. Like I said, there's never such a thing as a perfect product, but this is as close as you're going to get. I think if they do that modification there, they would absolutely make a perfect product. Um, the, the leads are extraordinarily huge. I mean, it's very, very, very well built. It's nicely laid out. You have uh, one through five and then six through 10 here. That's also important when you're, when you're charging. So you'll just keep going down the line and then up this way. Um, it doesn't matter so much on this. These are all connected. So it doesn't matter so much here. But I think here it does matter if I'm not mistaken. You don't want to skip these. I'm not sure about that. So there you go. That's the Strix um, parallel charging board with uh, by uh, Justin. Or uh, I'm sorry, not Justin. Josh Bardwell. So he did a great job. So maybe version three, Josh. Maybe version. Maybe version three. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the section below. And please subscribe. It really helps me out. It does tremendously. So thank you, and have a great day.